Hi everyone, I'm Greg Quiggle, Vice President of Product Management at iDirect. Today I'd like to introduce you to an exciting new set of features that we're launching with our IDX 3.2 operating software, including the High Performance Evolution X7 Remote. First, we'll walk through a core set of features for the release, and then we'll relate them to ways that they can provide high value to your business. Let's first look at what service providers are facing today as they grow their operations and meet new customer demands. One trend that's perhaps the most prominent is the need for high bandwidth. We see it everywhere, in the maritime sector, cell backhaul, oil and gas, mining, and other key markets. End users increasingly want to run bandwidth heavy applications over satellite. That's going to explode even further once high throughput satellites come online. To be successful today, you need to support high throughput services and have a plan for HTS. Yet managing your business still requires great efficiency and reliability. So let's take a deeper look at how IDX 3.2 and the X7 address these challenges. Adaptive TDMA is one of the core features of IDX 3.2. It's designed to increase return channel performance and increase availability regardless of link conditions. Here's how it works. Adaptive TDMA enables an NROT group to support carriers with different symbol rates and mod codes. The network dynamically adjusts to changing uplink conditions based on each remote's demand and the system's quality of service configuration. With Adaptive TDMA, service providers are able to boost their network throughput, increase network availability, reduce bandwidth and terminal costs, or combine these benefits to fit the needs of their individual business. A typical fixed VSAT system can boost its throughput by about 20 to 40% on its return channels, while a typical mobile network can gain about twice as much with improvements in handling different beam contours in addition to rain fade. Other advancements in inbound efficiencies are faster acquisition times and waveform improvements. With IDX 3.2, remotes can acquire up to five times faster than previous software releases. Furthermore, iDirect has enhanced the frequency and phase tracking of waveforms on the inbound channels. More efficient inbound waveforms can net up to a 40% increase in data throughput. On the outbound channel, the minimum roll-off factor has been reduced from 20% to 5%. This allows for tighter spacing of DVB-S2 carriers and offers up to 13% in outbound bandwidth savings. Now let's shift our focus to the other key feature of IDX 3.2 the Evolution X7 remote. The X7 is the first in a line of next generation remotes that's been optimized to deliver very high throughput performance, whether operating in traditional broadbeam satellites or emerging high throughput satellites. The X7 has four key features. The first is increased throughput. Built on an entirely new multi-core processing system, the X7 is able to reach new levels of combined outbound and inbound throughput. This remote will work on C, KU, and KA band beams and enable service providers to deliver data rates needed for bandwidth heavy business applications and multicast services such as IPTV or HD video. The second feature on the X7 is embedded group QoS and a VLAN aware eight port switch. You can physically segregate multiple end user traffic groups based on VLAN tags and customize SLAs for each unique user group. The third key feature of the X7 is the choice of an embedded AC or DC power supply. Some configurations can even power up to a 16 watt buck. This is very relevant for cellular backhaul networks where an embedded negative 48 volt DC power supply is ideal for telco equipment in a large 3G and or 4G network. The fourth key feature on the X7 is the dual DVB-S2 demodulators with a fully independent RF chain. With this unique feature, service providers can support voice and data services while receiving up to 12 shared high-definition multicast channels over the same or a second transponder or even a second satellite. The dual demodulators will also make it very easy to transition from traditional broadbeam satellites to high-throughput spotbeam satellites. So those are the key highlights for IDX 3.2 and the X7. Now let's shift our focus to the benefits when you pull it all together. I think you can boil it down to three. You can expect more performance. The ability to deliver high data rates to end users eager to run bandwidth intensive applications and critical operations over satellite. You can expect more control. You now have new options to ensure network availability and save satellite bandwidth. 
and that puts you in greater command of how you design your network to address dynamic traffic patterns and fulfill SLAs with confidence. You can expect more success. Delivering more bandwidth and higher performance services, which creates new revenue streams, and greater efficiencies means lower capacity costs. So as you can see, IDX 3.2 and the X7 deliver an exciting new range of features that can advance your business. If you'd like to learn more, please contact your iDirect sales rep. I'm Greg Quiggle, and thanks for watching.